Well, friends, March is Women's History Month, and we have one young woman who is soaring to new heights as one of the youngest licensed pilots in the country. 17-year-old Kamora Freeland from Staten Island, New York, recently passed the exam for her private pilot's license, and she hasn't even graduated yet. Her aviation passion is inspiring for everybody nationwide. Kamora joins me right now. Kamora, I appreciate you spending uh, your time with me today here. Uh, I am a fellow uh, aviation enthusiast here, so uh, when they first told me about you, I was just so excited to meet you here. So want to hear a little bit more about your journey journey and your story here with aviation. How did you first uh, get into it? Uh, hi. Um, so I got into it because my mom assigned me for a scholarship. I had never thought about becoming a pilot. I wanted to be a marine biologist. But one day she tells me that I want a scholarship to become a private pilot. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So um, that's kind of how I got into it. Um, she assigned me for a scholarship. So can you drive? Do you have your license to drive? I'm just curious because... I think it would be interesting if you didn't have your, your driver's license, but you could fly. Yeah, so I actually ended up getting, getting my driver's license the next day after I got my private pilot license. Oh, that's so funny. So you could fly a plane before you could fly a car. That's so awesome. Now, <laughs> what have been some of the biggest challenges that you faced uh, during pilot training? Um, I would say the ground training, the last two weeks of preparing to get my license, I had took a mock oral, and they told me that I was not ready. And so I ended up going home. I studied a dream heart for the next two weeks. And I took another practice oral, and they was like, wow, you made a major improvement. Did someone help you study? I was like, no, I just studied everything you recommended. And he was like, wow, you're ready to pass now. So were you nervous when you went up there for your first solo flight? Uh, for my first solo flight, yes, I was extremely nervous. I just kept thinking, I was like, what if the engine goes out? Like, what if anything happens? It's all on me. So I was extremely nervous. Now, talk to me about how you prepare for the weather, because obviously you're not going to be flying on every single day when, you know, it's right. sunshine and it's perfect weather conditions. Um, so basically, I, I use the app for a four flight, and I just check the weather from there. It has aviation weather. So what do you think is going to be the most difficult weather to fly through? Um, definitely when it's extreme wind conditions, you know, I, I fly a small plane, so strong weather can blow the plane. Now, what about turbulence here? Because I, I know that, you know, you're only 17 years old, but when I was your age, I hated flying because of the turbulence. So how do you deal with it? Um, typically I, I always check the weather before a flight. So I know if the winds are extremely strong, I know I, what I can handle and what I can't handle. So if I know that the winds are going to be strong, I would say I'm not going to fly today. So what's your long-term goal? Do you want to work for one of the airlines? Do you want to be a, a private pilot? Yes. So my end goal, well, one of my goals is to work for one of the major airlines, but eventually my end goal is to open up my own flight school so that way other children can learn to fly like I did. So you want to be a captain one day? Yes, definitely. Uh, all right. Now, how are you hoping to inspire others uh, for maybe somebody else, you know, who wants to uh, think about pursuing uh, flying? Um, I definitely want to inspire other young girls just so they can see that it's, it's possible to do whatever you want. Even if it's not aviation, you can start as young as you want. Yeah, no, you certainly can. Well, uh, for the folks watching, you can learn how to fly a plane before you learn how to drive like Kamora did. Kamora, thank you so much for spending a part of your Monday with us. We appreciate you and good thank luck you. to you. And I look forward to seeing you be a captain one day. Yes, thank you so much.